Hello, hello, hello. My name is Velsko and we're gonna take a look at a Lifeline today. Lifeline is mo probably my most played legend to date. She fits my playstyle extremely well in being able to get back up in the fight extremely quickly. And that's what she does. She is a combat medic, so she does medic in combat. But in order to understand her, we first have to go to the fundamentals, which are her abilities. Uh, Abilities. So first off we have her passive ability which is combat medic revive knockdown teammates faster while protected by a shield wall healing items are used 25% faster. The second part about the healing items should be self explanatory revive knockdown teammates faster is around 25% and the shield wall is incredibly incredibly useful especially when you're reviving from long ranges. The best way to use this passive is that when you go for the revive make sure you look in the direction first before you press the button where you want the shield to be it will put a shield in front of you and in front of you means where you are looking at one important thing to note as well is that people can move through the shield it is indestructible so shooting will not help but they can walk through it and then shoot of course and her second ability is the tactical ability which is the throne of compassion a heal drone which automatically heals those near it over time my findings have found that you get around let's say 2 to 2.5 medkits out of one heal drone which translates to 200 to 250 hp this will not get a full squad from low to full health but it will give most of them 75 percent ish of their hp back which is quite a lot for an ability that you can use every minute the cooldown on it is quite long however i never had the feeling that it was unfair or unbalanced whenever you place down the throne as in a circle around it about one meter everybody who stands there will be able to get healing this means friend this means foe now there will be rarely if ever situations where you and your friend and your foe are all circling around the healing drone and all getting heals. It's not worth it. No enemy will do it. It might save your enemies in a very few tricky situations, but I would not worry about that at all. Just place it down when you are in a good position and make sure you or your teammates don't push the drone around. By pushing, you can give it a little bit push and it goes sideways. But that also means that some might disconnect the cable and not get their healing. So they have to get back in there. It's a little bit of a quirky mechanics, but with a little bit of practice and a little bit of focus, you can easily get the heals from it consistently. This drone is incredibly useful when you place it down and you're together with your friends you can also use normal heals so if you need to recharge your armor with shields then you can just do that while sitting in the drone you can use syringes to give you that extra boost and get you more hp faster one cool thing about the drone is that you can do anything while having it activated so as long as you're standing near or as long as you are in the range you can do anything you want and the drone will still heal you if you wiped a squad and they took some of your hp away while you are looting them you can just place one down and hopefully you should be safe and sound enough close enough to the drone that you can heal and loot at the same time it is an incredible time saver and it will give you a lot to work with and finally we have to take a look at her ultimate a care package it calls in a drop pot full of high quality defensive gear what this means is one knockdown shield backpack armor or helmet a attachment and a healing item and those are the three categories that you will always find in a lifeline air package other than that only real difference that you can visibly see between the two is that there is different color on the top of the tripod itself which is red for normal and blue for the lifeline one it also emits a beam as long as it's not looted you cannot cast this ability very far so you have to use it and stay near of it for a few seconds now that we got that out of the way we have to talk a little bit about the ideal loadout for lifeline and for this i mean the equipment the gears the consumables thanks to lifeline's q ability the tactical healing drone you are able to carry a few more items in your inventory because syringes you usually will not need as a lifeline so you can use this to pick up extra 
healing items that you can drop when you go for the revive for your team for example it comes in handy when you loot a lot and loot squads that you take or at least use that space that's normally designed for your ranges that you can use that for carrying extra shield batteries and extra phoenix kits or whatever and as soon as you revive somebody just go into your inventory and drop one for them and that's an easy strategy that you can apply the weapons i highly recommend that you use the uh, a short to long range combination of weapons so for short it's for example an r99 an auto shotgun or the peacekeeper and for long range a g7 scout longbow triple t kraber if you are finding normal ones as well those type of playstyles will suit you extremely well because since your lifeline you should be able or as you should try to stay in the backline as much as possible now if you have a good flank and you're absolutely 100 certain that you can win definitely go for it but that also means that your team misses their heal the short range weapons are very simply for one reason that is when people see you reviving they will tend to push you maybe you need to cancel re your revive and deal with the enemy first or maybe as soon as you revive the enemy is there so having those short range weapons will allow you to be able to fight them off extremely effectively the long one the long range weapons are for simple reason that you are, should try to stay in the back line and have an overview of the battle you should be able to keep an eye out where your team is flanking and where they are going it's extremely handy if you know he made this over there in case when he gets knocked you can already prepare yourself to go there and having a sniper and with a big scope on it will allow you to deal damage from further away lifeline excels at long range and mid range and close range she is not the best but she can definitely do something if you pick close range weapon. one more tip about the equipment is that when you play as lifeline try to have or ask for your teammates to give you the golden backpack if you are responsible for healing your team and getting them back up it's extremely efficient if you have the golden backpack so that you can heal even faster while it doesn't fully stack with your passive it does give you a small increase it gives you around i would say 60 or 65 percent of the healing i know a shield cell of three seconds will be reduced to 1.2 seconds while the backpack and your passive don't really stack up that well together being able to get the heals as fast as possible going for yourself will allow you to help your team out a little bit more and that can mean the difference in a fight between getting wiped and becoming victorious in the end so i recommend asking for the backpack so you can even get yourself up and to be able to cover up for your teammates when that is done then we have to talk about her so how do we play lifeline the best we've covered a few ways tactics and the general strategy you want to aim at is of course the long range to mid range there will be rarely situations where whereby lifeline if you are fighting for example from 150 meters away with another squad theoretically speaking you should always be able to get your team up and get them healing it's extremely annoying for the other team as long as that distance is that big there is really no reason that you can lose a fight by the time you healed your buddy you're already a full hp squad again fighting from that distance while the other team will have trouble doing it even for the revive from such a long distance there is almost nothing that people can do about your shield close range that's another situation close range it might be better to leave your teammates to die or at least to suffer while they are bleeding out while you finish the healing with the squad because wasting your time to get somebody to 30 hp then they need to heal fully which is another 10 seconds let's say it takes a full 15 seconds to get somebody who is knocked back to full hp that is a lot of time and it might be better that you and the other guy the other duo that is near to finish off the squad yourself it all depends on the situation of course but think twice before you go heal close range as for long range it's simply heal ahead we've covered that you should stay in the back already and that's why the sniper loadout comes in extremely handy by staying so far away and having a sniper you can still do deal a lot of damage while going for it it's also useful to drop in a care package because you can use it as cover it's not the best but you can use it as cover and with a little bit of luck while you call in a care package mid fight it instead of having to fully recharge your armor you may have a purple armor from the drop pod also be wary when you use your ultimate in any situation it has the longest to charge 
and a tactic I often find people recommending is that you need to claim all the ultimate accelerants. It's a good thing if you're out of loot. If you have enough loot, more than enough, it's not as needed. It's much better to give them away to Raltar or Bangalore for their amazing airstrike ultimate. And of course be extremely mindful when you use it because it will basically put a giant flag on the map. Hey. I'm a lifeline and I'm located at this position, which should bring us to the counters. How do we counter a lifeline best? The simplest way is to put pressure. Lifeline, her abilities all require her to be standing stationary. So that means no movement. In a game where movement is extremely important and you can cover a lot of distance really quick, that's not an ideal situation. So the more pressure you can apply, which is hard if you are fighting on mid to long range, which is the reason she can excel there. Close range, however, you can still put in pressure, pressure, pressure. This doesn't have to be a lot of pressure. One of the simplest way to counter her passive, for example, is to throw a grenade or an arc star. Let's say she's reviving something. If you manage to throw a grenade behind the shield, then she either has to move, dedicate and lose HP, which brings in the knockdown player in danger for when he gets back up, or leave the knockdown player. There isn't really much she can do when there is a grenade being thrown at them. That doesn't mean you have to throw a six grenade all at once at that position, just one of two who should more than suffice to force her out of that position and it's by this continuous pressure that most lifelines will break the same when she is trying to heal herself or her teammates behind a rock with the heal drone if you can just get her to move three or four meters either by flanking and shooting the rock forcing her to rotate a little bit that's more than enough to cancel out her heal ability which is takes another minute on cooldown so that's quite easy counter and then the final counter i have for lifeline when you go hunting for kills it's the best way if they have another lifeline in team when she calls in a care package or when you hear a care package being dropped instantly look on your map and check if in that direction there are light blue circles hanging on the minimap if that is not the case then you know it's not a normal airdrop which means there is a lifeline calling in a care package and if you are close enough by the time the care package drops you can definitely close the distance and ambush them pretty hard because they have no clue where you are, but you will have a precise location depending on how far you are, where they are. If they are inexperienced players, they will be distracted by the loot inside and then you can have a quick and easy kill at least, which turns the fight in your favor, which allows you to win it more easily. That being said, it's always nice and handy to take out the healer first in a combat situation. Having set up an ambush like that, if you can focus down the lifeline with three people of your team, Team, she should be melted instantly and that will deny her healing which means the other team has to rely on their own slower healing and it's stupid so that wraps it up for my lifeline full guide these are all the tips and tricks i've learned while playing her and against her if you have any other tips be sure to leave them down in the comments below and other than that my name is Walsko and i'm signing off